So this is what it's come to. I've been debating about making this video for some time anyway, but with the recent news that we got today of all the new projects coming out under the Star Wars banner, I felt like it was a good time for me to express myself about how I'm feeling about Star Wars these days. It's so bad that I felt like I had to go back to the old setup just so you can see that my disappointment is coming from a place of love. The Star Wars franchise has been through many ups and downs over the past few years. More downs than ups if you ask me. It's been tiring for me as a fan to see something I care about slowly being destroyed. And there's literally nothing I can do about it because 75% of the people out there still support Disney and the direction they've taken with this franchise. The reality of the situation is, is that the mostly positive reaction to The Mandalorian has caused this to happen. It encouraged Disney to go from we're scaling back on Star Wars content to now we're gonna flood the market with Star Wars content over the next few years. They're doubling down now because they have proof now that consumers will watch their product regardless of quality. And you know what? I'm guilty of it too, to be honest. And while I haven't given Disney my money in some time, I found ways around that to still be able to watch the content if for nothing else so I can be more well-informed. I never wanted to be the guy who bitches about something that he didn't watch. I pride myself on that, and I pride myself on giving honest opinions about the things that I watch. The problem is, and this is mostly on YouTube, is that people don't want honest opinions sometimes. They just want their opinion retorted back to them. So if I don't like something, I'm instantly called a hater. If I talk negatively about something that people love, I'll get views, but I'll also lose subs in the process. It's literally a no-win situation. So to be honest, at this point, it feels like a lot of wasted energy for me to continue to express myself about Star Wars. Especially since I felt so disconnected from the franchise anyway since The Last Jedi that it just really doesn't feel like it's worth it anymore. And that's kind of a sad thought to me because I love Star Wars and it's part of my DNA. And I'll always have the original trilogy or the prequels so I can get my Star Wars fix when I need it. But with this announcement, I just came to the realization that Star Wars is no longer being made for fans like me. We live in a much different world than the one I came up in. It's all about streaming services now and quantity over quality. Everyone wants to binge through shit as quickly as possible. And when you're creating content for a society like that, these are the kind of announcements you get. I've personally always enjoyed content that stuck with me after I watched it. Content that wasn't released one after the other, so I had time to digest it and take it all in. Because there was some distance between the content, I even had time in myself to build up excitement for the next thing. And I just feel like modern audiences aren't like that anymore. They want everything done right now. And Disney is now making Star Wars content for people in the streaming age. And it's clear that they're profiting from it, so it's not surprising that they're doubling down on this strategy. So this is me just accepting that Star Wars isn't made for me anymore. And coming to the realization that I'm not really mad about it anymore, I'm more sad than anything, to be honest. But overall, I'm basically just convincing myself to let go and just take it for what it is at this point. But based on the announcement today of the projects that are in development, I have little to no interest in most of them, if not all of them. The Obi-Wan series is something that I was asking for for a very long time, actually, because Obi-Wan happens to be one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite. They even announced that Hayden Christensen is returning as Darth Vader for that series. Now, all of this sounds great on paper, but in the back of my mind, I know Disney is behind it, and I know I'm setting myself up for disappointment if I get excited about it. That's what Disney Star Wars has instilled in me over the past few years. A sincere lack of optimism. And when that happens, you know something is wrong. And I'm not saying I'm never going to make another video about Star Wars again. We all know that's never going to happen. But this is me accepting the idea that Star Wars most likely will never meet my standards again. And that's a sad but truthful fact. For a long time, I was in the camp of people who thought if we put our foot down and we all banded together and said no more, that we could inspire real change and the franchise could be restored back to its rightful place in the hierarchy. But recently, it's become abundantly clear that that's never going to happen. So I'd like to shift focus to things that I do love and things that I do still care about and things that don't meet my standards won't be given large amounts of my attention. That's the way it has to be, unfortunately. And let's face it, most things that Disney produces these days aren't worth my attention anyway. So honestly, I'm okay with it. You can let me know what you thought about the announcements today. Are you excited? Are you not excited? I'm always down to have a discussion, regardless of the fact that I could care less about any of these projects. But let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out.